Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and I'm here today in partnership with FaveCrafts.com to show you how to make these sweet rose headbands, which you can use for a headband or a waist sash, or you can even use them to decorate your shoes. And if you don't have a strappy shoe and you're attaching it to a pump, uh, and the pump ends approximately here, well then you can just pass some ribbon through the top of the felt, just cut a little slit in the top of the felt and then you can wrap the ribbon around your ankle and um, have a very attractive look too, which I'll show you in the next photo. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need a hot glue gun, a strip of felt approximately five inches long by one inch wide and I've just trimmed the corners to be rounded, a pair of scissors, some ribbon of your choice, anything, it doesn't matter, whatever you'd like to use. And I, I bought a bouquet of um, just some white flowers. So we're going to start out by making clusters of um, little bows. So to make a cluster, you just take um, a yard or so of ribbon and wind it around your fingers to, call it to form a little cluster like this and tie it in the center with another little piece of uh, ribbon. Tie it like this in a square knot and try to keep your knot right in the center. And so that's how it looks. And so then you're just going to spread these loops out like this. And we're going to cut off any little ends that are sticking out larger than our cluster. So this is what our cluster should look like. And you'll have to make like a dozen or so of these because we're going to stack them and uh, get a, a bed for our roses. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to make these clusters. I removed one of the roses from the bouquet and I'm just going to cut off this bottom stem part because that just makes it a little bit more uh, rigid. So now that I've removed this green stem from the bottom. I'm going to trim that right up as far as I can to the last petal, but I'm holding on to them because I don't want the flower to fall apart. And then I'm going to apply some hot glue over the entire thing, and I'm just going to tap that in place with my wet finger. If you wet your finger before you touch hot glue, You'll be able to spread it and you'll be able to maneuver it and move it around without getting burned. So that's going to make my little rose open up and because I'll just show you in comparison to one that hasn't been, uh, that hasn't had the back removed, they're quite tight and stiff. But once you do this they open up and they're very soft. I've gone ahead and made some clusters and some have the Pico Edge ribbon and others don't. So I'm going to stack these so that they form a nice circle. So I'll alternate how they go. And after I have it the way I like it, I'll hold it with my thumb and I'll place the nozzle of the glue gun inside, holding it in place and then it, once it's cooled it'll be fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this rose in the center of this ribbon cluster. So just place some glue and I will set my rose centered and that's how it looks. So we're going to make three of these. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've made three of my clusters and then I have my felt piece here and I'm going to do a dry run. I'm going to place them the way I like them on this band and that looks fine like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue them in place. So to glue them down, I'm going to hold the flower in place where I'd like to have it. I'm going to lift it up some, and I'm going to apply some hot glue and hold that in position while it cools. And then I'm going to move to the next one, and I'm going to place it in position, hold it, lift up the petals, apply some glue, and hold it. So I'm going to do that to this last one also. So 
So once you have your cluster ready, you can attach it to a headband with some hot glue. Or you can attach it to um, some silk ribbon and uh, tie it around the head. Or attach it to a shoe to dress it up.